It appears the grip of the COVID-19 pandemic on global affairs is gradually easing. The federal government has lifted the nationwide midnight curfew and limitations on large gatherings along with other restrictions imposed to curb the spread of COVID-19. According to the Presidential Standing Committee on COVID-19, the removal of all the restrictions was decided in view of the declining number of cases, reduced risk of importation of new variants, as well as um, availability of vaccines. Data obtained from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, indicate that Nigeria recorded 3,141 deaths from 255,468 cases since the start of the pandemic. Tony, let me start from you. 3,142 deaths mm -hmm. from 200,000, um, over 200,000 cases. Mm -hmm. Now, Tony, the bottom line is that I it's like an avenue for some people to cash out as in <laughs> for if you if you've been <laughs> if you've been out of the country and you are coming, coming in and country, out yeah. it's such a big agony i had my frustration yeah. and, uh, fr so frustrating i after doing the pcr test i got to the airport and the airline told me that oh you can't fly you can't come back to your country and i said why and they said you have to do uh, as in you have to fill a very long winding mm -hmm. form and pay 50,000 naira online. So started okay. at the boarding gates. <laughs> so when you are going, you are expected to do 50,000 naira. When you are coming back, you are expected to do another 50,000 naira. And the uh, we not say that look other countries they've been <laughs> relaxing. Relaxing, yeah. The world is yeah. The world has gone back. I mean to normalcy. Uh, I don't know. I'm happy. Let me say, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm, I'm right now, at least we can go back, to, go back to our normal lives. Um, we know. I don't want to start talking about it here because um, it will elicit some kind of uh, emotion. I don't want to get. And we we're, were told that we have um, close to 30 million people have been vaccinated. Because yeah, yeah, you see, on COVID. COVID-19 in Nigeria, you know, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I, um, we've come a long way. Nigerians have tried, we, 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 um, we, 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 we abide, we abide, we, we, we complied with the instruction. We followed the lay down rules. We obeyed the protocols. And now the world needs to move. We need to move, yes. We need to move. We need to move. At the airport, we know the story and all that. We need to move. We need to move. And before now, Nigerians have they've even moved. They have moved. There are a lot of people. It's only in some select part of Lagos and some capitals around Nigeria that people still complied with it. Before the federal government uh, relaxed the rules, or you know, you know, yesterday I lifted the the, the embargo and all, and all that. Coffees, coffee people go, yeah, people go coffees, and coffee, who goes coffee? People go to parties, they go to clubs. Um, I mean, the road is busy, no restriction, nobody is stopping who. I mean, there is no nothing like coffee. Um, is it, is it a face mask? Yeah, nobody wears face mask anymore, long before now. So, they, 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 they were waiting for government. I mean, before Nigerian government, I think they did before in, in Ghana, you know. Um, lifted the embargo and all that. So, we need to move. <sighs> Three years, it's not easy. Does, it mean, does it this mean with the relax, <laughs> with the yeah. restriction, you know, relaxed now, mm -hmm. are we, the, would the presidential standing committee stop this no, they, they, 2000 they, 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 PCR test? It should be part of it. It's not part of it. They said with all the, I mean, um, 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 protocols, uh, it's not captured in it. If it's not captured, they, you know, if it's not captured there, it means that some people are making money from it. <laughs> I don't know about okay, it. Okay, what they are now saying now is that maybe mm. if you are vaccinated and you can, you can, you can prove that yeah. you, you are vaccinated. Yeah, you are vaccinated. You are not going to go through this. You have a barcode. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Um, if taking the first jab, second jab, and yeah. um, maybe the like jab. Take the third jab. It's not compulsory. Yeah, I, I think, um, first of all, I think um, I'm glad about the advancement of science, you know, the ability to conquer our environment. And then... Um, 
I hope we are going to learn a lot of lessons. Oh, because the vaccines was. were developed abroad, mm. and they were the master of foreign nations. Yeah. We were not able to develop the vaccine. Mm. And it also means that there are some uh, health challenges that you can, can just come suddenly that we have never seen before. So if your health institutions are not strong, you are going to be at a very great disadvantage. So I think COVID-19 uh, exposed our weaknesses as a country in terms of our health policies. Mm. But I also think that this um, COVID-19 should teach us that pass, uh, basic hygiene, like washing your hands, and should be routine. Should be continuous. It should be routine. It shouldn't wait until you know because we don't know what may come next, and that may, people may not be able to discover them on time. And I also think it is not a blanket. The restriction is not a blanket. It's not an open bl uh, check. You know, we still have uh, you know, local international travelers need to abide by the system protocols, mm -hmm. and then indoor activities you still need to use mask why outdoor is led for your own discretion so i advise that um we are glad but then people sh should still be you know quite cautious you know you know the way in, in the way they address uh personal hygiene and we should not just take it for granted that you know um, something like this cannot happen in the future again let me take your mind back you know <laughs> we we tend to forget things easily in Nigeria when you see the plight of those at the IDPs, at the yeah. um, isolation, isolation centers. centers yeah. You saw people that had mm. underlining mm. uh, illnesses. Yeah. 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 I saw a lot of people yeah. who lost some yeah. neck yeah. It, it, it shows that, you know, basic health, uh, so you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, these are complications that, you know, can make one to be vulnerable. To any major illness like COVID nineteen, so, so we, we, not, we, we need to tackle to those. Uh, record, yeah. mm. This record is telling us three thousand one hundred forty-two deaths. I suspect the mm, yeah. figures are more than that. Mm. We are not good at keeping records. A lot of people died that I even know, you know, in very suspicious circumstances. Mm. That mm. there are no records. Some people didn't even go to hospital because mm. they are at home. So I think this figure is just uh, official. But the unofficial figure, traditionally, I, th I think maybe even be higher. Mm. Mm. So, Tony, but this should not be the license for, a license for, mm. you know, um, we should continue and a license to, not to stick to those protocols. They are just yeah. good, very good to wash our hands, those masks and keep our Yeah, that they should be, yeah. yeah. Mm. We still have, we, 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 of course, we still follow those uh, protocols, but the fact is that um, um, the, the rules has been relaxed. Um, major cities in the world have returned back to real-time business. We will still just like washing of hands, wearing of face masks. Not, I mean, we still uh, we still do those things. But what I'm saying is, that we need to get an act. I mean, we need to go go out there. I mean, I mean, I, 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 I on this COVID nineteen, I, I don't. I think I will just leave it as that. The the last time when when you look at the countries that had their the worst uh, hits mm. as in terms of this COVID-19, uh, yeah. you know, when you look at countries like the um, United States United at States, the point yeah. of time, mm. New York City became mm. like an epicenter yeah, yeah. at the point of time, China mm. lost a lot of people yeah, at the point yeah, of time, France yeah. and France, the Italy, mm. UK, mm. 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 the United Kingdom, those mm. were, we, for just I don't know, maybe it's for, uh, because of our environment, maybe mm. because of our weather, but we're just kind of lucky yeah. that it's not as bad as... Mm. Yeah, yeah, first of all, it's natural that uh, we call it an act of God. But also, we must realize that there are certain environmental factors, like uh, traveling, you know, in terms of interconnectivity. Mm. If you look at the number of people that enter South Africa in a day, for instance, coming from China, from everywhere, uh, we don't have that kind of... Uh, number of people coming to, you know, for tourism, for all sorts of things, from France to U.S. The U.S., you know, millions of people pass through the, you know, airport, entering U.S., going out. So I think the, the interaction there, you know, is quite higher than what we have here. And don't also forget that it's not, um, it, it's not like Lassa fever that started here. You know, it came from abroad, it was imported here. So it limited, you know, uh, transmission. To, of, of that, uh, you know, especially the new variant that, you know, came to Nigeria very late. And I think Nigerians also took it very serious, you know, at a point. People are washing their hands. People are even taking, you know, or not, uh, or, or those, you know, so many measures, you know, taking hot water. And, you know, and I think those things also so now help. Taking yeah, people their taking hot water, washing their hands, yeah. vitamin C. And I think a lot of Nigerians took it serious, you know. 
So I think those things help us to beat the 